Carly Unicorn Enthusiast, and today I talk about body hair. So when I was younger, I watched my older sister go through puberty and go through the steps of shaving her armpits and shaving her legs and going through her first period and like watching my mom mentor her through that. When I was younger, I actually decided to shave my legs the first time by myself. I still have the scars on my knees from it. Anyways, as time went on, I eventually figured out how to do it properly without cutting myself every single time, and I figured out how to shave my armpit, but I very quickly got used to it. As I started to get older, I just kind of kept letting the time in between shaving my legs get longer and longer. Fast forward to um, about a year and a half ago. I decided um, that I wanted to participate in No Shave November. I kind of was secretly excited about it because I got excited whenever I would tell people that I was participating in No Shave November. I was really into the shock factor. A couple days after No Shave November ended, I did shave my leg hair off and then um, it just kind of stuck with me for the next six months. Around that same time, I was um, friends with my now girlfriend and she had been talking one of the times we had met up about how she stopped shaving her armpits. And I didn't wanna be rude and like try and pry into anything. So I would like ask a question or like say something and she'd like go into it a bit and like kind of just explain that she didn't care. And I don't know, that this like really stuck with me, like really stuck with me. Going back to my legs, I got to see it up close and personal when one of my best friends decided to stop shaving her legs. She was like, I'm not going to do it anymore. It's my body. I don't have to. It's a waste of time. It's so much energy and so much effort. Because she was so adamant about it, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to shave my legs either. And I didn't shave my legs for a few months. It was great. It was super awesome. It really opened up my mind a lot and made me really see and understand how ridiculous beauty standards are. Now going back to my armpits, I decided to stop shaving my armpits probably last November. My friends were all very chill with it. They didn't care. Um, but I knew my mom would react very strongly. There's kind of a spectrum of reactions when it comes to my armpit and my leg hair, but it usually falls under not caring caring a little bit, not saying something, maybe saying something, and then reacting very strongly. My mom fell over here in this spectrum. Only in the beginning did she react really strongly. This is really, really disappointing and frustrating to me that I get such strong reactions from something that is considered natural for men but mandatory for women. Whether you want to shave or not is your own personal opinion. It is your Body. You get to make the decisions on your body and nobody gets to tell you that you're wrong. One stereotype that I really, really wanted to talk about is how women are thought to not be able to be both feminine and have body hair. You having armpit and leg hair equals being very tomboyish or butch, not liking feminine things, which is really not the case. I just want to fight the stereotype so hard and make people see that you don't have to be one thing to have body hair. You don't have to be a guy to have body hair. You don't have to look really butcher tomboy to have body hair. I just really wanted to talk about my body hair today. It popped into my head and I decided that I should just make a video on it. So in conclusion, don't let anyone tell you what you can and can't do with your body and have a really awesome day. Bye.